<laughs> okay. Welcome, welcome. We are here again live on Facebook and I am very excited and very grateful to introduce you to Sharon who has very uh, kindly um, said she would come on here and help her, let me help her with uh, some healing and we had a discussion before this healing started and Sharon asked if we could help identify some reasons into we identified some self-sabotaging behavior and um, Sharon would like some help with this today so that's what we're going to do one and what I'm hoping is that there are some of you either watching this live or on the replay that are going to resonate with this this is what I'm hoping and and I'm also hoping that today I can help Sharon identify what the root of this may be whether there's an emotional um an emotional charge we need to release we will find out during this live session so if you're watching this live let us know we can only watch read the comments afterwards so we will come back to any comments but Sharon first of all let me say hello and also share with me just a bit we did have a little conversation but just share with me why you feel like you're feeling stuck at the moment Oh, I wish I could. I wish I knew. Um, I just feel like, you know, I, I make goals and I work towards them and then I get close and it's just like all of a sudden the brakes go on. It's like I hit a wall and I don't know why that is. It's okay. like, you know, I, I can, I can listen to a great training. I can listen to this great stuff and I get so excited. And it's like, I can, you know, want to go forward. And then I go forward and it's like, Oh, yikes, I can't go anymore. What does that feel like when you get there? It, what, what happens to you at that point? What do you feel inside when you suddenly feel like I can't go any further? It's just like there's just like a, a cement wall in front of me. It's just like that solid of a feeling. Okay. You know, it's just like, you know, and, and then I just feel like, wh where do I go? Which, you know, I mean, I've, I've come this far, but I don't know. So then I just kind of give up. Okay, so there's something, there's something that there's a resistance there, let's mm -hmm. say, that um, you that is maybe stopping that next step. Do you feel like it's fear? Do you feel like it's a? Uh, well, we'll, we'll we'll see if we can identify it. But yeah, uh, what do you feel like it is? You know, sometimes it's fear, and sometimes it's just maybe a lack of self-confidence. I, I don't know. I can't really identify it, but it's not as fearful as it once was, but it's that's still a little bit there, but it's just, I, that's the problem is I can't identify it. Okay. Okay. Well, let's see if today in this session today, we can begin to help you identify what this is, because I think you're really wanting, am I right? And to move. Yes. This because you, you like you said to me in the intro you've been on this journey for a couple of years now and and you're struggling to feel you and it's upsetting you as to why you're not further along your journey as you want to be is that right yes yes yeah. i feel that there's more i feel like yeah. i just need to get to that next level and it's like i just can't yeah okay well let's see if we can change some of that today and also okay. help feel like because if like I think like you said if you if your language around this is I can't do that and why is this always happening and why do I always hit these blocks see they're going to keep coming at you as well because mm -hmm. you're always expecting them right um yeah <laughs> <laughs> sometimes when it's like the next thing, these blocks, these like barriers, they come up really strong because mm -hmm. they are actually there for some reason. They're there trying to, it's, it's, it's trying to protect you and it's trying to say, no, don't do that thing because something might happen. And if we can identify what that thing is that's telling you stop and release that, that might help you then get to that next level. So are you ready? Yes. <laughs> 
<laughs> how, exciting, how exciting. So I hope you're all watching this as well because I feel like maybe tune in and see if this resonates with you as well. So, okay. I'm feeling emotional for you. How are you feeling? Uh, I, you know, I'm a little bit excited. <laughs> you know, if I can just get, to, you know, I, I've been pretty emotional just thinking about it, but I think I'm at this like, okay, I'm ready. Let's, let's, let's do it. Okay. All right. So just, just take in a couple of deep breaths and I can't say right now in this session, we'll shift everything, but let's just see what's ready to come to the surface today. Okay. Are you okay with that? Yeah. Absolutely. Okay. So just taking a couple of deep breaths for me. Just get yourself settled. And I'm just asking that I can help you today to become that vessel to help see if we can identify something from Sharon's past that may be instigating this, let's call it this barrier or this self-sabotaging behavior and see if we can help release that today. Thank you. Okay. <coughs> so when I <coughs> when I start oh, <coughs> coughing, it's a sign to me that okay, there's something going on in the throat. So let's just see what that might be you may feel warmth you may feel tingling you might not feel anything at all during this so just just be open it's very interesting the past few lives i've done it's been very much focused on something being stuck in the in the throat There was something happened in the past, Sharon, maybe, that has caused you to, maybe when, when you were younger, when you were wanting to do things, has something happened in the past that has caused you to hmm, think, I better not do that again. Can you think back to anything that might have happened where you hmm. were maybe out or you were talking or you were doing something and you maybe got a rejection or a knockback or something oh yeah there's several like that come to mind don't talk to me about it if you I'm just letting one yeah i'm just letting one surface i think the one um that is servicing the most right now that's coming to mind is, um, you know, I just, I just wrote a book about my brother and I wanted to do it back in the eighties. And mm -hmm. I was, I was stopped by family of okay. doing that. I was not allowed. I was told, no, stop. You're not good enough to do that. Okay. Okay. And do you think this may be what comes up perhaps when um, I, I don't know because I ended up, I went ahead and I broke through that. It took me a couple of years, but I got the book written. It's now at the editor. So I feel like I'm working past that, but that's just what came up, um, when okay. I was stopped. Okay. Okay. And what did that feel like when you was, when you were stopped? Oh, I felt very rejected, very, very not worthy. Um, um, I was, I was raised by a narcissistic mom. And so not much of what I did was right. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay. I'm just, I'm just tuning into this. Okay. So in a way,
so so this is this is what i'm feeling so in a way if you put yourself out there if you move you know you, you make these decisions to do something and you get excited you get motivated by it but then if your underlying sort of core maybe belief or emotion is well nothing is right what's the point or i it's it, it will be it will be tricky or it will have been tricky for you to get beyond that does that make it does that make sense to you yes yes it does in fact it's bringing up it's like it's like do my words matter okay okay yeah almost like all, all, all I'm feeling is, well, what is the point? Like, really, what is the point? Right. There's all the dejection there. Mm hmm Were you, was, there a, was there a lot of rejection and putting down and, like, bel not belittling, but actually, like, what you said was kind of not really heard or irrelevant or not? not really listen to yes there is a lot of that in my past okay okay so the okay and i feel it here i feel it all in the throat here and i think this is where we need to start the healing and the releasing because once once we you can get past those emotions i think then you will be able to move forwards you'll be able to keep going okay mm -hmm. there wasn't much what I'm feeling because I'm feeling it's like a bit of sadness and in a bit of emotion when I feel like there wasn't really much let's say um and I hope you're okay with me saying this tell me if you're not like love and support and encouragement and and nurturing through this oh there wasn't yeah okay And I think that's actually what we're releasing is the, is the hurt. And so actually what I feel is like you're almost expecting it not like you're almost expecting it not to work because like that's what you've known. 
I believe that. Yeah. Yeah. So actually, do you know what? This is about releasing that, 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 that hurt. And this is about you knowing and owning your own, just knowing and owning your own worth around this. Like you don't need to prove yourself to anyone. You don't need anyone's uh, recognition or um, what's the word approval. Maybe sometimes you've been waiting for that. I have. <laughs> okay, and you don't need that. Like if you didn't have to worry about wanting someone's approval or waiting for someone to sort of um, clarify that what you're doing is the right thing or or you needing needing someone's like okay um, support to do it, how would that feel if you if you were just like well I'm just doing this because I feel this is the right thing and you weren't having to wait for something else it's a bit murky at the moment but would would that feel easier for you i think that it would that would be such an unfamiliar feeling yeah but i but i think if i could yes yeah yeah it, 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 for me it feels like a relief i can feel a relief coming over this sort of weight mm -hmm. of like heaviness that Oh, okay. You don't have to like, yeah, you don't have to like, it's like, oh, you don't have to wait anymore. You can just do. I can just go forward. Yes. 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 But I think that's it. I think I have been waiting for approval. Yeah. Yeah. You don't need to. Whose approval are you waiting for? I uh, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, because I mean, I've just always had to have approval. I mean, I I I just I'm just like I don't know. I mean, it's all right here. Um, I who yeah, whose approval have I been waiting for? I I don't know. I mean, yeah. because none of those people are around anymore, so I don't know. Yeah, yeah. I'm working right here now, it's moved. It's moved from the throat and it's like this heaviness is like coming up and, and it's and it's like this this clarity is, is, is coming in. Yes. <laughs> so I'm just gonna help, just, yeah, just breathe some of that away. And also, like we talked about this on the intro, you've also been comparing yourself to others and why aren't I where they are and why haven't I achieved all this and why haven't I done that and why haven't I done this? It's almost time to stop like it, stop 
having to feel like you need to compare your journey is your journey and comparing yourself to where someone else is it, it's it, that's another way of like um like sabotaging yourself and it's another way of almost like punishing yourself yes 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 yeah and you don't need to do that either <sighs> I'm, throwing, I'm throwing everything at you in this i know and i'm writing some of it down <laughs> come back and, and watch this and 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 and, and, and write this down know. but like just for that it feels like okay it's like this weight is almost like okay this weight has been lifted this heaviness has been lifted from the chest and it's like it's like okay this i can feel like this clearing of like you don't need anyone's approval anymore but you also don't need to keep like punishing yourself for where for being where everyone else is at and that you're you're like well why am i not there yeah you're here where you are and this is where you need to be right now today i think the two words that are just totally is is yes. approval and punishing yes. Those are the two. And the thing that comes up too, it's like, I don't need approval from my kids. No. Okay. So that, that yeah. just, that surface as we were talking, you know, cause it's like, you know, and the thought came to me, it's kind of like, I just kind of replaced, you know, I needed family approval, then my spouse approval, then my kids approval. Well, I don't need any of it. I need, no. I don't need any of it to, to succeed and to move forward. You don't. Wow. I got chills now. <laughs> I just, I just am speechless. I mean, it's like, and, and the thing, you know, with the punishing, you know, I was just visiting with a friend and, and mm -hmm. she, and she told me a week or so ago, she said, you know, you just got to be happy. She said, but you have to be nice to yourself. Whatever choice you make, you have. You're doing okay. I'm here. You have to be nice. And it's like, I think I have just been totally mad at myself and yeah. punishing myself. You know, now that you use that word, it's like, oh, that's exactly what it is. And you don't need to. Like, when you feel yourself doing that, recognize it. Now, now it's surfaced. When you feel that behavior coming in or that voice in your head that what what often do you hear is it like you tell yourself you're not good enough or do you just get annoyed with yourself you're just so lazy why can't you do this you're just so lazy that's okay. what happens yeah. yeah when you feel that coming in i want you to know that that's not really you i think that's from your past and it's what you were you maybe grew up with or it's all that you knew and you don't need you don't need that anymore you can be kind to yourself you can be loving to yourself and i think when you work through that you're going to see big shifts and and when and when something like you do hit a block but not even a block but when you do feel like a wall coming up or some resistance then then don't immediately hit it with oh oh that always happens to me oh it's happened again and, and and get and get 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 cross with yourself because you may you may come across it because it's a lesson that you're mm -hmm. learning it's a real lesson for you so you may come across it again I, okay. but i want you to know that that's okay but next time you come across it recognizing oh that's interesting oh okay that's there's something I need to learn from this, and maybe I need to learn to accept myself more and 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 love myself more, and 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 on this occasion, not let it stop you doing the things that you're meant to be doing. 
okay. <laughs> I mean, it's just like, I'm just like, I feel like it's a fire hose coming at me. <laughs> but it's but in a good way, but in a good way, because it's like, I don't feel that pressure right here while you were doing it. I felt this like pressure. Yeah. And I just, and I just feel like, oh, you know, yeah. I can do this. You can. You can. Yes. I, I, I believe you can. And I think you believe you can as well. Yes. I, yes. Yes. Oh. Wonderful. Okay. <laughs> don't go anywhere. <laughs> I, 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 don't go. I'm just going to sort of end okay. the live part of this. So um, if you've watched this, I really hope, A, that you were supporting Sharon through this, because this has been quite a big moment. And that... <laughs> Took something from this yourself if you have let us know in the comments what you took from watching this and if you want if there's something going on for you and you want to reach out to me you know you can do just just send me a message just go to my website whatever feels comfortable for you and reach out to me but I just want to say well done Sharon because Thank there's you. a lot of you in this 20 minutes that we were together and I'd love to know what happens next from this as well, because I think there's going to be some some big shifts. I think so too. I'll let you know for sure. Wonderful. Don't go anywhere. I'll okay. just say everybody's alive. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Bye. Hold on a sec. <laughs>